Uh, he's a... Uh, He's optimistic. You know, if he were to wander up here and go, he might be able to make it. I'm not really sure. You got this, buddy. Hello, YouTube. Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR. And yes, folks, we are back once again because you guys wanted to see some more of this game. So today, I asked you guys to vote on which disaster we should do here next in our little disaster city. And you guys voted on Earthquake. So we're going to be covering that here today. I'll probably run another poll in the top right corner. Now, I do still need a name. I'm kind of gathering some names for this city. Obviously, everything that happens here is pretty much a disaster. Which, if you missed the last episode, I'll flash it up in the top right corner. But we built this little boat crash. Uh, this, like, big cargo container boat is crashing through. Actually, I think it's an oil boat. Not a cargo container, so it's an oil tanker. It's coming through, and it's about to crash into the bridge. It's knocking over some people here. Pretty awesome little scene. Now, I've got to figure out exactly where we're doing the earthquake. I think we're going to do it over there, which I need to fill in some more spaces. But yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions for disasters, comment below. And if you're enjoying Tiny Town on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel, and let's do this. Alright, since this is Disaster City, we'll probably have a lot of different things going on at once. So, the earthquake's gonna happen here, and it's gonna be spreading out. It's not gonna affect the whole city, because I would have to do what I'm doing in this square to the whole city, and that means we can't do any of the other things that we plan to do. So, I've got an idea for this. I'm gonna turn off snapping, so we'll go snapping, off. This should give me the ability to crumble the land, uh, to make the buildings all falling over. And basically, this is a part of downtown, so we're going to mainly use uh, big buildings. Let's see. Let's go and get the large cement blocks here. There we go. So, can I stick these sideways? Is that a thing? It should be. Hold on. I think my snapping's still on. All right. So, apparently, the ground pieces are all still going to snap. So, let's go ahead and test out a building here real quick. That way, I make sure my idea is actually going to work. If not, we might have to change it up just a bit. So, say if we had... This skyscraper right here, could we stick it in? Oh, yes, that does work. All right, so what I'm going to have to do, basically I'm going to take these ground tiles, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. These ground tiles, I'm going to progressively get them lower and lower to where it's almost making kind of a crater here, and the buildings and everything will be falling in. Uh, we'll just say there's like a fault line or something below the city here. And maybe I can do that to some of the roads. So let me get a little bit creative here with the ground, and then I'll go to actually sticking up buildings, people, and everything else. All right, so I've been a little bit busy. Now, this might change a little bit. I know it probably looks really odd. This is where everything's going to be collapsing into the uh, earthquake. So the affected blocks will be right around it. Uh, some of the buildings will be kind of shaking, tilting in people going crazy but this is where the big collapse is gonna be I know it probably looks a little bit odd right now but I can assure you this is gonna look pretty cool like we're gonna have skyscrapers actually I probably need to uh, adjust this side a little bit more to make it look a little more sloped off but there's gonna be skyscrapers coming down people hanging on gonna be a very fun time here and then we'll have to fill in I think half of the square over here might be kind of tilted this way because they're getting affected by the earthquake. And then maybe on the other side it'll be normal. I was thinking about putting a city hall over there in that grass area, but that might just be a park for now. And we'll uh, place the city hall somewhere else uh, in a future episode. All right, so here's our town all zoomed out here. You see the boardwalk. This will give you guys a little perspective as to how screwed up this block is. So let's go ahead and make this big. And we'll go ahead and go down here. There we go. All right. So this is like we're standing on the edge here. Actually, we'll probably, what, ground level's about here? Oh, yes, that is going to work. All right, let's go ahead and start getting some skyscrapers. So, oh, this whole town is just so screwed up. It's like, what happened? Why would anybody live here? All right, let's grab ourselves a skyscraper. This generic building looks okay. So if this was falling into the pit, what would that look like? Oh, that would look amazing. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I don't grab the specialty buildings because we'll use a lot of those. I mean, we can probably repeat a lot of these buildings. I know this probably looks small. Hold on, let's scale it back up again. Let's back off real quick. Oh, that is cool. So, yeah, we'll be able to add some details and stuff like that. 
So this buildings, these buildings are just now starting to fall into the big earthquake pit, but there's going to be a couple buildings already down there. Uh, we might have to add some, I wonder if I've got some smoke and maybe some fire. I know I've got fire. Uh, it's like a custom workshop item. Let's go ahead and grab this building here, shape it up just a little bit. Let's see, we're at the corner here. So that would be going in. We're going to have a lot of fine details. Right now, this is just making it look like the whole uh, block is collapsing in. Uh, we're going to add people and all sorts of goodies here. This side's a little worse than the other side. Dude, that is cool looking. This kind of looks like something we would attempt to do in brick rigs. All right, so first set of buildings is done. Hmm, we need to probably take out some more road here. Let's go and set some of these angles down. People are going to be panicking as they drive along. Huh? Let's go to some vehicles here. Uh, I'll make some crashes, and then we'll uh, we'll actually move on uh, to the people itself. So, like, vans and stuff. We're trying to drive out of here. Oh, this is going to look so cool. And like I said, the surrounding areas. We'll probably make the buildings uneven and make it look like they're shaking, but... I really wanted to get the center done first and kind of make it extreme, which we're talking this is like super earthquake. This is not your normal uh, everyday earthquake. Pretty sure you guys wanted to see me overdo a lot of things. All right, so what we're doing over here, I'm still sticking some cars. We have two buildings actually collapsing together and they're kind of erupting there. Uh, I got various cars. Everybody's trying to stay on the road. A couple people have swerved off. Uh, I'll probably stick some more deep in the crater. You know, we got a cop car over here. Let's set up a little scene. Maybe the officer's trying to trying to get some people out of here. So let's grab our people real quick and we'll uh, do a little rescue. There we go. Go ahead and stick you up a little bit further. See how it looks like an officer is rushing somebody out of one of the buildings there. Uh, stuff's still going pretty crazy. I might need to turn the snapping tool back on. It's still hard to get these vehicles uh, level, but I need to be able to kind of form into everything else. All right, so we need some more people running this guy. Let's go ahead and make him run here. Uh, we'll start adding some more smaller objects in uh, to try to make this look a little bit more populated, make it look a little less like it was just a bunch of buildings in a blank area. So we'll make this guy run. We should probably turn snapping back on while we're placing people down. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and replace you and you. There we go. All right, time to place some people. All right, so just a quick overview. I think I've about partially finished the collapse here, except for that vehicle's bugging me. You need to be a little bit out of the ground there. So as you can see, we set up the little police scene here. People are running up and down the street. Uh, they're trying to run over to this block, which has not collapsed yet. Of course, I showed you guys the, uh, the biker rescuing the hippie over here. You got quite a few vehicles crashing, the two buildings crashing together here, which I actually think that looks pretty cool. Uh, we can actually go down in the hole now. I've added some stuff, some vehicles that fell in. Uh, you got another explosion down here at the bottom of the hole. Oh, that looks epic. Uh, you got that, I put a person that was running along the roof up here. Uh, he's, uh, he's optimistic. You know, if he were to wander up here and go, he might be able to make it. I'm not really sure. You got this, buddy. All right, we're going to stick you right back there. This person, he's falling down the hole, but he's going to Superman out of there, I believe. Uh, there's a mail truck down there. I think this is pretty good. Uh, we're going to add some more detail. I'll probably need to add more to this street. Uh, but for the time being, I'm actually going to come over to this block. And this is where I kind of wanted to test maybe starting the, uh, the shaking and collapsing of buildings. Because it looks really bare through here, really empty. All right, so let's start our building placement here. These buildings are going to be a little bit skewed. So I'm going to place the buildings first, and then we'll add the details. Uh, let's get one of these. Uh, these buildings are on the verge. They're shaking right now. They're starting to try to get sucked in this way. So they're going to look a little odd. I actually think on the back side of the block, they'll be normal because it's starting to go that way. I know this is not realistic at all, uh, but this is the way I want my tiny town to work here. I think this is uh, pretty cool what we're doing. There we go. I need a couple more buildings. We'll need to add a bunch of stuff through here. Maybe an alleyway through here, too. Try to make the city look somewhat realistic. All right, so I've kind of set up even more of a scene. I'll try to drag you guys through this. So these buildings are shaking really, really bad. A couple of them are attempting to go down. There's people running. Like, there's little food carts flying in the air. Uh, air conditioning units falling off the buildings. 
I'll try to add even more detail. I'll probably do normal buildings behind it, but we're going to have people still running. I still need to spawn some more people. Uh, thankfully, Tiny Town's got plenty of them here. So let's see. What do we want to spawn here? Let's get some more people. I don't know. It's kind of a weird situation. You got to, like, literally over there, there's a, there's a ship crashing. And then over here, you have a... Uh, an earthquake happening. All the first responders are really busy right now. All right, so we have a little park set up here. We need some people running through the park, obviously. You know what? We're gonna let somebody drive through the park. Uh, he knows the way to avoid traffic when disaster is happening, so... Hmm, what guy would drive through the park? Let's put him in a truck here. There we go. He's just gonna be cruising through the park. He does not even care. All right, so we'll get that. Let's go and get some more people here that are going to run through the park. Uh, if you guys have any additional suggestions for this scene, uh, let me know down in the comments section below. Uh, I'd like to hear what you guys want to see. Because I can always add additional things to the scene after the episodes. There we go. This guy's cruising through. Actually, looks like he's falling back. <laughs> now... A couple things we do need, and somebody pointed this out last episode. We do need some uh, vehicles in the air right now. Alright, so obviously this is a breaking news event. Do we have an actual news chopper? Or is it just like a generic chopper? Uh, I see a couple up there. Hold on, let me see if I can see a news one. Nope, looks like we have generic choppers. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab a couple of these. Please, can I turn the blade? No, I don't think I can. Alright, so a couple of these have got to be flying over. Oh, that looks epic. Oh, let's get another one here. Maybe another news chopper. There we go. This one's going to be flying kind of in this way. Cool. That looks good. Actually, I'm going to lower one of these. Seems like it's a little too high. There we go. He's getting close to the action there. Oh, yeah. That is cool. Uh, eventually we're going to do something with an airport. I'm not really sure about that yet. Why are the taxis on this side? That's kind of weird. Is there a yellow taxi over here? There it is. I don't know if I saw that in the normal town uh, vehicles. I don't know why that would just be on the airport. I understand uh, why it's in there, but you figured, you know, it's a taxi. All right, so we're going to stick that there. We need to go ahead and move back over to here. I need to actually stick some more people through the, uh, the park here, and then we'll go over to the buildings. Alright, so we've started to fill in this area. You can see a lot of these buildings are actually okay. Added a little clock tower here with a small park area. I think that looks pretty good. So, I don't know what's going to be over here. Uh, this whole area is going to be kind of a little bit of a mystery to me. Of course, we got all the buildings here. You got the big collapse happening. The collapse, I'm probably not going to get around to it. This episode is still going to affect uh, right around the corner there. Uh, I suppose we need some more people running. And then, yeah, I think we're getting we're getting there. I think we're almost done here, so at least what we can do this episode. Get another fire hydrant there. I've been placing little items here and there just to kind of keep this uh, looking busy. So you got a little bit of litter there on the ground. Uh, just trying to utilize as much as I can here. Uh, because you just got to kind of give everything a bit of love here. Even like these little paper uh, machines here. There we go. Okay, so it seems like we're going to make a theme here. Seems like every episode, we're going to have an old lady that is completely oblivious to what's happening here. And I believe this is going to be our old lady. Let's stick her towards the back of the park. You know what? She's just admiring the clock tower here. She has no clue that behind her, a big disaster is just happening. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know if I'm wrong to do that or not. All right. Let's get a guy over here. He's going to have his hands on top. Actually, it looks weird there. Hold on. Get this hand right there. He can't believe what's happening right now. He's never seen anything like this in the city. This little area back here is a little bare. I should probably add some little items. A couple people running through the alleys. <laughs> you see the one guy, he's just trying to get away. Uh, he doesn't understand. Actually, we've used him quite often. Oh, that looks odd tossing people. Uh, let's get this businessman. There we go. So I have a couple more running back here. Get some dumpsters back here. And some clutter that you would see maybe in kind of like an alleyway. All right, so I think we're about to where we're going to stop here today. We definitely did more this episode uh, than we did last episode, which last episode was really just here in the little bit of the boardwalk. Uh, this is pretty chaotic. Hold on, let's get a big view here. Uh, oh, actually, that's a little mini view. 
It's actually kind of really neat looking at it from up here. It just kind of puts everything in perspective. It's like a little play set. All right, let's go ahead and zoom in. And we'll start back here uh, with the ship crash. So you're coming in. You're already seeing a part of the skyline. It's just in pure chaos right now. Oh, that is insane looking. So we'll kind of swoop in. Uh, you can see the park here. Traffic somewhat still getting through. People are really just now, like this is happening really quick. So it's really caught a lot of people off guard. Everybody's running for their lives here through the park. Uh, you got traffic jams. Cars flying everywhere. Uh, of course, you can see the buildings collapsing. I really like those fire effects. I would like to see a smoke one. Uh, maybe we can find something like that. People are running through here. People are saving each other. Oh, this looks so epic. You can see down in the pit of doom. <laughs> this is wrong. I don't know if this is wrong. This is what people want to see, though. I think this is a... This is the purpose of Tiny Town. You want exciting things happening the whole time. I guess some people might actually like to build a town, but, you know, that's what we're doing. It's just everything's falling apart. So, you see all the people running through here. Uh, let's go ahead, get out of ways a little bit. And, of course, you have the new area we built, which includes some parks. Uh, you got the boardwalk on this side, which that was from last episode. Overall, I'm happy with our progress. We finished about almost, I would say, two blocks here. And then I've got a little bit of the outer laying areas. I will do uh, some of the uh, additional stuff off camera. And then we'll come back in with another theme. Uh, but I think this came out pretty good for your earthquake collapse here. But anyways, like I said, comment below with suggestions for what you want to see here in Tiny Town. Hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town. Thank you.